So this is a bird blocking behavior algorithm that I've been working on for the past few days. I don't really have a name for these creatures, so I'm just going to call them birds. Um, they basically follow the three main principles of um, flocking, which is separation, alignment, and cohesion. Um, separation is basically if they get too close, then they, they'll they probably want to move away. Um, in my case, uh, if they come between um, 1.1 meters of each other, then they try to move in the opposite direction to their neighbors. Um, whereas alignment and cohesion, they're basically the same exact thing. Um, the idea with alignment and cohesion is that they want to move um, towards their neighbors and align with their neighbors. And with these three principles, you can get some amazing behavior as you can see. Um, if a bird is red, that basically means it has no other bird in sight. Um, so essentially it becomes the leader of the group. Um, so you'll see some like sometimes like one bird might be leading like a flock of like 20 other birds. Uh, that's simply just because it's in the front so it can't really see anything so it's just moving moving in a straight line. Uh, whereas all other birds are essentially following it. Uh, and a, a bird is green if it uh, is following another bird um, in its nearest neighbor. So now I'm going to explain what some of these buttons mean. Uh, border is just to uh, make create a border um, which can be toggled. Wall, um, you can just create walls with them. Um, erase can erase walls as you can see. Um, direction to get rid of the direction arrows. Um, that's actually for some, another reason that I'll explain soon. Um, plus 25 creates another 25 creatures. Uh, birds, sorry, and minus 25 removes 25. Um, plus 10, put minus 10. And type, if I click type, now when I click plus 25 and, or plus 10, it will spawn predators. Predators would be uh, in blue. So predators will flock to each other, to other uh, predators will flock to other predators normally like normal birds but um, the green and red birds will essentially try to avoid the blue birds because they're predators okay now I'm gonna show the intensity button um, essentially it just creates a intensity intensity heat map um, there's two different types this one is the incandescent heat map and this one is the normal heated metal heat map um, that you might see in various thermal cameras Um, also now here I can press the direction button and hide the direction arrows. Um, essentially it looks like blobs at this point. Um, blobs moving around with flocking behavior. So if I add more, uh, you can start to see like bigger blobs forming. But really, really it's just birds that are moving around. It was actually a pretty fun project to work on. Um, I've been working on like projects that are sort of taking a bit too long, so I just want to do like quick development projects that maybe take like two to three days, um, since you know the lack of time that I have now to work on my personal projects. Um, and so this was a pretty fun project to work on. Um, I'll have a link to it in the description, and you guys can play around with it too. And also, I've been I've made a Android version for this also um, that you guys can play on with it if you have an Android phone on that. So if you would like me to put that on Google Play, I can definitely do that. Um, as you can see, I've exported the app onto my phone. I can start it up. Um, it can do the exact same. I can do the exact same things that I can do on the PC with this. So I can press this to spawn a bunch of birds. I'm gonna hide the um, the border. Uh, I can press this. Sorry, I'm not really looking at it. Okay, I'm gonna look at it and press it now. What? Border? Okay, that's weird. Um, I'll get that fixed. But um, anyways, um, I'm gonna add more birds. So I'm going to switch it to intensity heat map. 
Oops. Um, it's actually drawing the intensity heat map. I don't know if you can see this. Um, but yeah, um, I can definitely act, I can put this on um, Google Play uh, if anyone wants to install it. Add more birds. Um, interestingly, um, I have um, this weird way of optimizing this. Um, if the frame rate starts to drop, it actually increases the separation distance between um, the birds. So up till about 40 frames per second, it won't really be, it doesn't really care much, but once the frame rate starts dropping below 40, um, it will start increasing the separation distance. So this way the frame rate gets to stay at a um, consistent um, number, at least over 40. Um, let me hide the directions. Looks pretty cool. Blobs with blocking behavior, basically. Pretty cool. To download the Unity version, just click the link in the description. Uh, pick whichever one you want. I'm going to download the zip one. Um, so once it's done downloading, um, drag it to uh, whichever folder you want. Um, right click and I'm going to extract with uh, 7-zip. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go into it and drag and drop. Uh, WinRAR can extract both 7-zip and .rar versions. Uh, so if you have 7-zip installed, then you have to extract with 7-zip. Um, if you don't have um, RAR installed. So now you can just run it and play around with it. Pretty straightforward. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and also let me know if you would, if you guys would like to have the Android version for um, Google Play. I can definitely I'll put it up on Google Play. Anyways, thanks for watching.